This is probably a done deal a while ago, but they had to set certain things in motion. They needed to see if Black Adam was going to work. I, 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 I'm waiting for the moment they're going to cancel that third Wonder Woman movie now from Patty Jenkins because Patty Jenkins can't write or direct the movie. All right. This chick is toast. Howdy, all. I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. And boy, do I love being right. I told you. You saw, there's the receipt, just one of a few. Other ones are embedded somewhere in streams that I can't seem to find, but I know I've said it. No Wonder Woman 3. Wonder Woman 3 canceled. Said it was going to be canceled, knew it was going to be canceled. For many factors, probably. They're putting out the factor that Wonder Woman 3 canceled because it doesn't fit with their multi-year plan of what's going forward. I think that's very true. At the same time, I also think because Patty Jenkins shit the bed with Wonder Woman 84, proving she cannot direct, she cannot write. She's done. You're going to watch Patty Jenkins quickly disappear from the Hollywood scene because she got revealed for the talentless hack that she is. But there's a lot of other stuff going on here in the cancellation of Wonder Woman 3. There is a mixture of uh, definite facts, but then a lot of misleading logic or faulty logic, as opposed to actual clear logic that one could then build upon with the facts at hand. Let's look at this real quick. We don't need to go through this whole article. Hollywood Reporter, it's, it, it's a shill, and they started it. This was their exclusive, but all the other shills are running with the same bullshit. What am I talking about? Well, first of all, they're talking about how Wonder Woman 3 being canceled is important because they're saving money. Fact. Probably going to save money. According to this, Godot was going to get $20 million for Wonder Woman 3 and Jenkins was going to get $12 million. Well, there you just saved $32 million because it was part of the original contract, which they probably, when everything changed around, they were probably able to just kill it. I mean, they might get some payoffs. I don't know how this shit works, but either way, Saving money there. Zaz, the Zaz is all about saving money. But let's look at the others fallout from this. Definitively now. And Snyder bros, I've been telling you this for a long time. You, you, you scree at me. You whine at me. You tell me shut up. Snyderverse is dead. Facts. All the other products putting out from the previous administration of Warner. They were tangentially connected to Snyderverse through the Whedon, through, through, through Whedon League, Justice League. It's called Justice League. A Justice League, the Snyder cut, they didn't want to acknowledge that it was whatever. But Snyderverse was still tangentially gone, softly going on through Wonder Woman 2, Wonder Woman 3, Aquaman 2, maybe Black Adam, maybe not, Shazam 2. The Flash movie. But as I said, most of those movies, they're done. Yes, Shazam, Wrath of the God, Fury of the Gods, that's been memory hole. People have forgotten about that already. Hasn't even come out, people have forgotten about it because it looks terrible. But you got Flash movie and Aquaman 2 still on the horizon. But then Wonder Woman 3 was still tangentially Snyderverse. With that, canceled. Do not continue those stories to not go into further pathways to link to other stuff snyder verse is dead it's done as it has been for a long time some people just cannot accept that and as i always say you got your win with snyder cut you got your win you have that precious memory you can go back to any time you got your complete well not complete vision but you got that section of the vision for snyder if you love it great hold it close enjoy it cherish it that was the end, guys. That was the end. Snyderverse was gone, is gone, will be gone. This is a clean slate. James Gunn, Peter Safran, they are going to give us a fresh DC connected universe through movies, TV, animation, video games. That's, that's a bold, bold path to walk down. And if they can pull it off, could be cool. If not, could also crash and burn. 
we will wait and see how that plays out because we can't we haven't seen it yet let's see if the pieces can fit together at the same time though here's again facts if wonder woman 3 is canceled that's Snyderverse. then of course man of steel 2 canceled makes factual sense because man of steel 2 is would be a sequel to man of steel which started the Snyderverse. facts now we have to step into logic because we are a week away from possibly leaks and reveals when gunn and saffron are going to go walk into the zaz's office and tell him give them their bible give him their bible here's our plan for 10 years we're next week apparently that's going to go down faulty logic pushed by hollywood reporter and other shills that just because man of steel 2 is canceled henry cavill is out as superman no 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 i'm sorry that is faulty logic that is illogical yes man of steel 2 canceled henry cavill can still be superman in the dcu he doesn't have to be Zack snyder's superman because he can just start as superman we can drop him into a story we don't need another origin story we don't need a connective title to a previous movie for him to be superman it is stupid to think that all these rumors again rumors that dc's not happy with talking of peter cavill peter no, henry cavill as superman they're not happy with the rock doing this they're not happy with them it just doesn't make sense said it before i'll say it again henry cavill superman is too billion dollars that's a two billion dollar movie maybe more because if it's hopeful red and blue red trunks smile on your face wave salute to the john williams theme smile on the face that's two billion dollars hopeful truth justice and the american way that's two billion dollars butts in seats this butt in a seat in the theater, which I don't like to do anymore, but I would be there for that because I want to see that. People want to see that. I am on the record saying that is money. That is what's going to happen. If they don't do that, I'll be obviously wrong. At the same time, Gun Saffron and by association, the Zaz would be monumentally stupid. Do not put Henry Cavill in a movie. It's a it's a low hanging fruit. It's an it, it's it's a lob easy lob over the fence home run. To not do it is dumb. That's why all these shills going. Oh, he's out. They don't want him. Oh, none of the, all the original Snyderverse Justice League guys. They're done. Jason Momoa might be moving from Aquaman to Lobo, which would be fine. Slap some makeup on, makeup on him. Give him a different voice. He could be Lobo. Doesn't matter. But you know what, people. Fans, passionate, real fans, we're not stupid. We're smart enough to understand that, yeah, we don't need Jason Momoa to keep being Aquaman. We can, he could be something else. We can get a new Aquaman. We can also differentiate, we can also separate Snyder versus Superman from a new DCU Superman with the same actor. Because we don't need it to say Man of Steel 2 to be connected to Henry Cavill and his performance before that. Don't need that. Very simple. And I think Gunn, Saffron, Zaslav understand that. I do not think the Shills. The Shills, they don't want Henry Cavill. They hate Henry Cavill because he doesn't shit on the fans. Because he's a nerd. He's good. He's fun. He relates. He's one of us. They hate that he's not one of them. That he doesn't play their games. They hate. They don't want him. Why? Why would Henry Cavill not be Superman right now? He walked away from The Witcher. Yes, The Witcher was a sinking ship, but he walked away from it. Yeah, he's got other things going on, but he, all the stories going around now that he is jacked, he's happy, he's involved. We're going to get an announcement soon, probably. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'll say it. But it doesn't make sense to say just because 
Man of Steel 2 is canceled. Henry Cavill isn't Superman. No, it means he's not Snyder vs. Superman. There's your logic. He's still going to be Superman. He's just going to be dour and sour Superman. And all the other stuff going on doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because they have a, they, they have a plan. They're going to roll out a plan. We're going to get a new Batman. We're likely going to get a new Flash. We're going to be getting Jon Stewart, Green Lantern. Might even get another Hal Jordan, Green Lantern. Because guess what? There are going to be multiple Green Lanterns. Right now, I trust they're going to do the smart thing. Canceling Patty Jenkins' Wonder Woman 3. That is the spot was the smart move. Canceling the Snyderverse, burying it is the smart move. Not having Henry Cavill be Superman would be the wrong move. And I don't think Gunn, Saffron, and Zaslov are that stupid. They want to make money. Zaslov wants to make money. And they need to. This is their chance to usurp the MCU who is spinning into the abyss. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube, where I hope to earn your trust and support using Facts and Logic, because Facts and Logic do not care about whiny Stan and SJW Fifi's. Hit the notification button, share your share this video if you like what I'm preaching. And by all means, I want to hear from you guys. You are passionate, real fans like myself. I want to hear from you in the comments section. I care what you think. I don't care what the stands and the SJWs have to say, because 201, they are all cowards behind keyboards. And I can't wait for this video and every future video and stream to trigger them into a frothy frenzy. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at therennerd at gmail.com. That emails for channel business only, so I check it on a daily basis. Also, you can find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas. And you can find me at Rumble and Odyssey, the Renaissance Nerd. Thank you again. See you next time.